Hey everyone! Behind me is an Andrews Arcus, a creature that went extinct 34 million years ago. Indeed! I'm known as the largest terrestrial carnivore that ever lived. Wow, that's impressive. What was your world like? I lived during the late Eocene epoch, a time when the Earth was much warmer and lush forests covered large parts of the land. Back then, it was a very different world compared to now. You seem cold. Are you all right? It's just too cold where I am right now. Where are you right now? I'm at Everest. It's incredibly cold here. I'm not used to this freezing weather. Everest is now 8,848 meters tall. In my time, it was much lower and the climate was warmer. Back then, I used to eat turtles, mollusks, and animal carcasses by the water. Not the most glamorous diet, but it kept me going. For a carnivore, your diet doesn't sound very meaty, does it? True. I had a body length of 4 meters, and just my head was 85 centimeters long. Imagine a bear's body with a crocodile's head. Quite a sight, right? But I was too big and clumsy to catch fast-moving animals, so I had to live on whatever I could find. Ah, those were the days. When all I had to worry about was finding a tasty turtle for dinner. 34 million years ago, Everest started growing taller. It's said that Everest and the Himalayas were formed because the Indian subcontinent crashed into the Eurasian plate, pushing up the land. This made my living area colder and prey scarce, which was a huge problem. That's why we went extinct. If I had been smaller, maybe I could have survived by hunting smaller creatures. I wish I could have seen you alive. You must have been amazing to see. Thank you. I wish I could have met you too, Zero. What do you think about Andrew's Arcus, everyone? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. See you in the next video.